Okay, um, hello my technical drawing students. Um, I want us to look at this uh, question and the question happens to be a Y question. So I want us to look at how we can solve this problem. So let's look at what uh, the question wants us to do. The diagram below shows a link mechanism. The crank OB rotates about a center O in an anticlockwise direction. It is also pinned jointed to a rod CA at point B. The rod is constricted to slide through point A. The length OB equals 25, AB equals 100, and BC equals 30 mm. Roman figure 1. Trace the locus of point C for a complete revolution of OB and Roman figure 2. What is the name of the shape that the locus traced? Okay, so let's look at the features that we have in the question, though we've been given the lens that, but I want us to look at the features. So the radius of this circle, as stated by the question, is 25 mm, that is OB. And the distance between the center line of the circle and point A here is 104. And then the distance between this horizontal center line and this line from A is 20 mm is 20 mm then we are told that length ab length ab is 100 and length bc is 30 mm and we are told that this is moving the point the point c is moving in an anticlockwise direction in an anticlockwise direction that means it goes in this direction it goes can you see the arrow the, the arrow shows the direction of the rotation so it is moving in an anticlockwise direction so let's look at how this problem can be solved the first thing that we are going to do is to draw the horizontal and the vertical center lines horizontal and the vertical center lines horizontal and the vertical center lines okay so this is the horizontal center line Okay, and then vertical center line. Next is vertical center line. Okay, so the next we draw the circle. The radius of the circle is 30 mm. Sorry, it's 25 mm. Sorry, it's 25 mm. So you take 25 mm on your ruler with your compass. So put it at this point. So actually, this is point O as said by the question. This point is point O. Okay, so put your compass at this point and draw a circle. Draw a circle. Draw a circle. So draw a circle like this. Then the next thing that we are going to do is to divide this circle into 12 equal parts. Divide the circle into 12 equal parts. So just put your compass at this point, make an arc up and down, and then put it at this point. Make an arc right, left, and then put it at this point. Draw an arc up and down. Then you put it at this point. So you draw an arc left and right here. Okay. So then we are going to join, we are going to label this point for best pet. There's something I want to show you. Um, if you look at this point B, point B on the circle, it happens to be a starting point. It happens to be a starting point because it is going like this. So it happens to be a starting point. So this point is our starting point. It's our starting point. So I'm going to call this point. So which is point B, which is point B. So I'm going to call it one. 
then this point here this will be true this point is true and this point will be three so this point is four because it is going anti clockwise and this point is five so here is six this is seven this is eight this is nine this is point nine this is ten so this is eleven and this is twelve so because it is going anti clockwise okay so the next thing i'm going to do here so i will join this point together so looking at this so this goes with this and 12 goes with 6 goes with 12 and 3 and 9 they go together 3 and 9 they go together okay and 4 and 10 they go together 14 they go together actually this will be the third question i'll be solving under this topic which we call link mechanisms so you can search for other ones that i have done they are also why questions they are why questions so you can search so just go to my channel um go to my channel and search for link mechanism problems link mechanism problems so, so you see them so this is the third question i'm solving now the next thing i want to do now is that i need to locate point a i need to locate point a so what i'm going to do is that i will come okay from this center line i'm going to draw a vertical line down i'll draw a vertical line anywhere that i like so draw a vertical line anywhere so from the cent horizontal center line draw a vertical line so if i produce a line down don't forget that from the center line a is 20 mm from the center line so measure 20 mm on this line measure 20 mm on this line so this is 20 okay so this is 20 mm all right so from this point so from this point i will draw a line backward okay so on this from on this line on this line so from here i'm going to measure um okay so i will take my compass and measure 104 i'll measure 104 with my compass so 104 mm because the distance between the center line of the circle and point a is 104 is 104 so take 104 with your compass take 104 with your compass on your ruler so put it put it anywhere here just put it somewhere here put somewhere here and mark, make a mark here okay so this is point a this is point a here okay so that's point a so we have located point a on that so we are told that point a and point b is 100 mm point a b is 100 mm so if we check so you can see that this is 100 mm this is 100 mm if you look at it so that's 100 mm so from point a now i will now draw a line i will draw this line so this line goes like this so the line goes like this don't forget that bc so bc is 30 mm so i will measure 30 mm on this line i measure 30 mm on this line so from here this is 30 so this is point c now this point here is point c so that's the starting point so this point is point c okay so the next is that i will take 100 mm 100 mm so i need to extend this line i may need to extend this line i need to extend it a bit okay so extend the line now so take 100 mm with your compass 
take 100 mm with your compass on your ruler this is 100 mm so this is 100 so put it at the second point this is point one so put it at point two so it is going at the clockwise so you have to follow that direction so make an arc here um, so make an arc there so after making an arc there we are going to draw a line and that line we pass through point two so it goes like this so from this point draw a line passing through point two and it goes like this so on this line now measure 30 mm on this line measure 30 mm on this line measure 30 mm so this is 30 mm is 30 mm okay so if i call this point if i call this one c1 so this point you can call it c2 so that's c2 so the next with that 100 i put that point 3 here put that point 3 here and make an arc on this line make an arc on this line that comes out from a then we draw a straight line passing through from this point draw a straight line that will pass through point three okay then with that 30 so measure 30 measure 30 from point c on this line measure 30 mm so this is 30 mm this is 30 so this point so you are this point so i'll call this i'll call it c3 okay so it continues okay so we have located all the points we have located all the points so just follow uh what i said that you put your compass at each point your compass you have taken 100 mm already with your compass so just put it at any point so for example point four so when i put at this point four here i will make an arc on this line so wherever i touch i will draw a line and that line will pass through point four and it comes out so from this point four i measured 30 mm so the same thing applies to all so all the points have been generated so this is point c1 which is the starting point then c2 c3 c4 c5 6 is c7 c7 c8 c9 and we have c10 c11 and c12 and so on so they have all been obtained so the next thing we want to do now we take our french curve this is my french curve so take your french curve and join the point together so join all the points together so here I can join. Let me join these three together first. So we have these three joined together. Okay. So I'll join the three together. So and I can join these three again. Join them together like this. Okay. So next. So I can join these two together. Okay. So next, let me go through this, please. Now. So we are joining them together a little bit so that we can get a perfect curve.
Okay. So this. So this is the shape. This is the shape. So actually, if you look at it, it looks like an ellipse because the question says that what is the name of the shape the local or that the locus stretched? So you can say this shape is an ellipse. So this is the solution to the problem. So it's as simple as shown here. So what you need to do is to practice. So you just need to practice and then. Uh, for you to learn more, for you to learn more, there are other things that I've uploaded, so which have to do with uh, topics that we have in technical drawing. So subscribe and view, or you can watch it, you can download it, so and then make comments. If there is anything that you want, you don't understand, I want to know, so make a comment or you send me a message and let me know. I will respond to your request. I will respond to your request. Thank you.